Hey, hey, Merlin, you open the gym or what? Well, not really, but you know, it's a little bit of a secret base we have here. So oh man! Come inside. And All see, right, uh, let me see what's going, going on. on in here. <laughs> hey. Hey guys, welcome to Spartan's Gym. <laughs> Thank you guys for having us here. Thank you. Welcome. And so this is our I know this is so cool. So, e, what's going on over here? Oh, I see Big G on the wall. Oh, I've seen, I've seen. This place looks familiar. I think I've seen it. I think I've seen it on Stan's Instagram. Uh, Stan's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> he made this place famous. <laughs> yeah. So what? And there was Maureen. Maureen. Plus yeah, Maureen friend. Hella also played up there. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. So, e, tell me what we're doing here. Well, what we're doing here is uh, we're actually. I just started working with Dan. Uh, we're gonna head into the uh, Masters uh, USA in December, and. Uh, Looking to take that title, hopefully. Yeah, he looks good already. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys. Yeah. You. Thank you. Did you did you did it last year, right? Yeah, the last you say got, got top four in, nice. in USA's in bodybuilding, and I got fifth in classic. I did both divisions. Wow, mm -hmm. awesome. And before that, guy like two years ago, I got twentieth at the USA's in twenty seventeen. Yeah, that's a tough one. The USA Open. And my Ooh. class had like thirty five people. Crazy. Wow. 37 people and that was my first show. Yesterday. So this is your place. Tell me a little bit about it. How it's, long have you had it? Place. I got this place like about a couple of, uh, maybe one month before the pandemic hit. Oh, it's brand new? It's brand new. Okay. Brand new, spanky new. The first thing I got was the leg equipment because I know a lot of guys don't like treating legs. So I'm like, okay guys, so we're going to do legs. So I was like, <laughs> you, we got the vertical leg press. Over here, we got a reversible hamstring curl machine, Smith, uh, leg press, leg extension. Uh, we got a different type of variation of a leg, uh, leg extension. We got the squat rack, so you guys can do single leg lunges. Squats and they all have different attachments, but if you want to do pull downs, triceps, it's all attached. It's pretty cool for Weeder. So they made like a nice machine, so I had to get it. Then they have another one for um this is where you can also do pull-ups, stretch. Um this it has a double pulley system, so two people can work at it at the same time. You can do flies and different or do very like different variations. On um, this section we have the weights ranging from five all the way up to like 60 pounds, and there's many different dumbbells. So People, many members can just have, and you know, we have their own workouts. We have different benches. The cool thing about this bench is it goes, it goes straight, it goes 45, flat, but it also does decline as well, oh, nice. which is pretty cool. Yeah, so, that, yeah. Had to get something that has all the angles, also from Weeder. We got something that a lot of people just don't have it, which is the sissy squat over here. He was hiding in the corner, so I had to get this little guy. He's dangerous. Mm -hmm. I built my own little squat rack right here. This is custom built. So we can attach this when we do calves, when we do hamstrings. So when we do hamstrings, we'll do like a little variation. We'll just put this here and we'll just stretch right here, get a maximum squeeze. So a lot of people who know how to train will use this machine. A um, lot of stuff, oh, it's custom built, like this guy right here. This is, oh, there was, I couldn't find a three tier system. So I made four by fours and put them together. And actually this whole thing is pretty much built by itself at Home Depot. We've got four by fours covered it with aluminum and um, made my own rack. So Looks a lot nice. of stuff, is, yeah, this is stuff is like custom built. Got the mirrors for the guys to train. Oh, well, you got some good pictures. And I got the posters, of hey, course. Uh, I got the, the original, I got the Olympians right here on this side. Nice. And then I got, uh, of course, the famous Rocky posters. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That's awesome. This is actually a vintage from Muscle Mac. It's one of the, like one of the vintage posters, so I had to get it. Yeah. Had all the Olympians. And then I have uh, champions from all different types of sports, ranging right from Mike Tyson to Michael Jordan. Yeah. And then I have a cool, um, what if they would have fought Mike Tyson versus Muhammad Ali poster on the corner. <laughs> yeah, that's a cool, like vintage poster. That's like a shot I take for the Masters USA. Yeah. And I got a top four. That's awesome. And, you, uh, well, that's you a nice going. little place you got. Everywhere. And you were you training at Goals before? You've seen you there many I times. I was at Powerhouse, everywhere. Okay. Goals, gym, and everywhere. so why did you decide to open this gym? I mean, I'm, you said you opened the, it before the, the quarantine. For the community, because so. okay. there was a lot of talent here but they didn't have the resources. So I felt like I wanted to outsource and then just help out the community that couldn't. They wanted to bring, they, I wanted to bring bodybuilding to like the South Bay. Yeah. Because Dave's Powerhouse is most likely, he's a little bit more, yes. more towards like the PV side, uh -huh. but there's nothing in between. Yeah. So it was like an open gap. So there's a lot of great athletes here, but I just wanted to kind of fill that little gap in and bring a little something to them. Well, what a timing you had. You had. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you must have been so like oh i'm so glad i had that idea because you know you had somewhere to go like a month and a half before everything oh happened my God. and i was like i just got everything put together like it was like a blessing it was like i Mozart. know <laughs> i know stan was just so grateful to you because you know you know he's he's a full-timer so <laughs> so e yeah. um when did you guys get in touch and tell me a little bit about uh, how you guys connected real quick 
Uh, well, I think that it, we connected via Jay Cutler TV, right? I think he saw me. You know, he saw me training a lot of people on there. Okay. Uh, and um, felt that uh, you could I help perhaps him out. be the right coach to help him get to, you know, that next level. Um, I think you know the main thing <clears throat> with Danny is he's like right there, um, you know. But when I was assessing his physique, which is what he wanted me to do to start, he's like, you know, look at my body. What do you think? Where do I fit? Bodybuilding classic. What do you think I need? Um, you know, and I told him, I think I think you're right there on, on the precipice of, of getting your pro card. Mm -hmm. uh, I just think you, that he needs better conditioning, uh, a little bit more sharpness, and of course, which we'll talk a little bit more about, he has a di discrepancy between his legs, which was caused by a car accident they had years ago, mm -hmm. uh, which kind of hinders his training a little bit, so we got to work around that. So, and he wants to learn all my, you know, my training techniques, uh, my different uh, rep tempos, how I work time or detention, and, you know, just really just get him from this level up to the level where he turns pro. So he contacted me uh, via, I think, Instagram, uh, and we just started talking, we got on the phone, and, um, you know, hired me as his coach. We started working together literally just a week ago. I put him Okay, on his, so this is brand new. This is brand new, yeah, I put him on his diet. I already started sending him his workouts, but one of the things he said to me, he said, Coach, please, if you can come down this way <laughs> and train my quads with me, uh, he wants to really make sure that he's hitting the legs right. So we had the perfect opportunity today, luckily, you know, to come down this way, uh, meet here at his great little gym, and awesome. uh, train some legs, which is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna do quads today. It's gonna be the workout. Awesome, today. awesome. Yeah. Well, that'll be great. And and you know what's good, Danny? This will be on, on video. So if you don't remember something, you can actually watch it. You can just <laughs> rewatch it. <laughs> Kim's hiding behind the thing over there. I don't know what yeah, she's doing. Kim, Kim's over there. She's she's, she's, she's playing Where's Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> And right. uh, I, I have to say one thing. I was very happy to see he had me up on his wall of fame here. He has a picture. Oh. He put a picture of me up here. And I also put a picture of Jay Cutler's TV. So if you look at I the saw it. I know. Guys, so Jay can see it. Yeah, yeah. Let's go see that. cord right on the side as well. And we'll catch. So both we'll, of you guys we'll are catch Kim at the same time. The there she is. She's hiding over here. <laughs> and that's a perfect nice quote that I saw from Jay. That puts surround yourself with people who can make you bigger. Big off, who, who can dream bigger than you. And yeah. that will be from you guys. That's right. will be perfect. And then I have... Yeah, so this one, awesome. this, will, this will go up there in just a minute. I just got to nice. sign it for him. Do right? you still have pictures? Huh? You still have pictures? This is, I, he grabbed this, this is an old picture. Oh, he from, did, okay, okay. From, uh, <laughs> well, you supplied the picture this too. Oh, that's awesome. Mike Nevue photo shoot. I know, Iron, Iron Man. Man magazine. Yes. Yeah, uh, that was a great shoot, that's why I got it. I'm yeah, yeah, so he, I, I walked in and it was up there, so I figured, <laughs> you know, we'll sign it before we put it Boy, back Boy, you got to get back at that shape. Huh? You got to get back like this. <laughs> yeah, except I'm a little bigger than that. <laughs> I know, so you'll be better. That's my point. Yeah, yeah well, we got to get there. <laughs> All right. We're going to let... I we're, support that. We're going to sign that picture and then uh, we're going to do some legs. There's, uh, It's great today. So we're just going to... You know what, guys? We're just going to let the workout run as is. And we'll just have Eric uh, put him through the paces and just explain what he I does. I just, you know, well. if you don't mind, just... Uh, Dan, why don't you just tell him a little bit about... Because they're going to see how your foot stances are going to okay. be a little bit different okay. about your car accident mm -hmm. and how that hinders your your training a little bit. Just, just well, I have to. Well, well, according to the accident, what happened is that uh, just on certain exercises, I have to modify certain stances. So mm -hmm. it's not like everybody has the regular stance. I have to modify things a little with different angles just to hit the legs a little bigger because there's a angle discrepancy. There's a bone that's hitting my other bone within the hip joints. Oh. So I just so I, what I have to do is I just gotta change angles. That's right. It's stuff. in the right leg. Right? It's in the right leg. So I've been able to I've been able to go around the injuries. So everything that I do, you'll see modifications. I see. To a modification. Is it <laughs> still painful, Dan? Or? No, no. Pain okay. At all. Well, that's well, good. That's the beauty. That's the beauty of it. So. I don't need surgery or anything like that. That's in the future. Once I get everything, once I get my pro card, I'm thinking about that. But right now, no pain. Nice. So I just got to be very careful and just play around with the angles, and I'm good. Okay. Well, there you go. All right. You, all right. Very cool. I'll send the picture, Merlin. I'm going to sign the picture. <laughs> You're going to sign Eric or Merlin? Well, I'm going to say, <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll say AKA. You got to write that. Merlin. Awesome. We're good to go. Very cool. Okay. <laughs> He's got to be on the wall now. All right. All right, you guys. We're going to hit some legs. Yep. Let's do Hopefully it. Hopefully, you learn something. Okay. So, what we're doing for the first exercise, we're doing the leg press. He's using a close stance here. We're going to work the outer sweep, and we're going to be doing five second negatives. Okay, all right. Here we go. Yeah. We're going right from the beginning. Okay, here we go. Go ahead. Again. Begin. Sweet. That's good. Like that. 
Good, slow, right from the beginning. That's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Thumbs to the top, good. Four, three, two, one. Swing to the top, good. Four, three, two, one. Swing to the top, that's it. Four, three, two, one. That's good. Five, four, three, two, one. Push, three to go. Four, three, two, one. Last, two more. Five, four, three, two, one. Push one more time. Four, three, two, one. Good, nice. Okay, so next we're gonna beat him up really good. Uh, it's gonna be a super set. We're back on the leg press again. Uh, and we're, again, we're gonna use a close stance. We're really emphasizing that outer sweep. So we're doing the close stance. But this time we're gonna do four second positives or concentric reps. So he's gonna to come to the bottom and he's gonna push up in four seconds. Then we're gonna superset that with plie dumbbell squats. He doesn't have a great range of motion so they're gonna just be kind of short um, pumping type reps just to get a little extra blood in there and keep tension on the muscle. Very, very difficult so. So now we're on the leg extension machine. We're going to do a little unilateral training, one leg at a time. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the first portion of the set. We're going to hold the top, the squeeze, the, con the, the uh, contracted portion of the rep for four full seconds. And then after I tell him he's done with those, he's just going to go into reps down and up to complete the pump and make it a very, very intense set. Okay, here we go. Come on. 
one, two, three, four, three more. Squeeze one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One more like that. One, two, three, four. We got 12 reps up and down. One, two, come on. Three, get the blood in. Four, five, come on. Halfway, six, seven, eight, nine, three more. One, two, and three, good. Dan, how are you feeling about uh, about the workout? How, oh, I mean, man, usually I you get it. usually you get them by by email, so you kind of have to decipher everything on your own. <laughs> how, how was it to actually do it with him in person? Oh my God, it was great. This is what Ashley was hoping for. I got more than what I bargained for. <laughs> but Merlin, it was great. To have you guys feel film it. I've always been part of my dream to do things, a film something very professional and. Luckily, I got the chance with you, Dave. Thank you so much. <laughs> of course. Really well, thank it. Eric, because it was a suggestion. You, but no, I didn't realize when he told me about this place, because we've been com conversing on DM and via Instagram for a while now, you know, uh -huh. since Stan was training here. So, And then so when I asked uh, Eric, I said, hey, why don't you send me his uh, Instagram? And at uh, the expo. Yeah, yeah, and but I didn't put two and two together. So uh, when he told me he wanted to come here, I said, don't you send me the Instagram? And I looked at him, I was like, oh, I know this guy. Yes. And so I'm glad that uh, this was you. This is awesome. Yes. So. Um, yes, I feel very blessed. I got professional workout with you guys, professional camera crew. <laughs> I feel very blessed and I got a chance to do legs. A lot of people dodge legs. I love legs. I've been loving legs since day one. You so. must be a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so how many weeks do you have till uh, showtime? We're about 16 weeks out, right? Okay, 16, uh, 16, good. 16 or 17. Yeah, 17 to 17 weeks out from the USA's and Masters USA's. We're gonna do the double header and see where we get the pro card in. He, he looks in really good shape to me already at 16 weeks out. He's he's got a good uh, starting point, don't you think? Yeah, I think his starting point is really really good. Yeah. But I, you know, again, you know, one of the things that I made sure he did is when we started working together, um, I wanted to see what his former conditions looked like that brought him up to like fourth place or fifth place in yeah, the yeah. major shows. Um, and you know, obviously, I have to be as critical as possible. You know, and I'm not gonna blow smoke. And I'm gonna say, listen, this is your weak points, and I think that. He was at a level of conditioning where he looked really good, but that to get that pro card, to get to that level where, you know, where the judges are going to give you that nod, he needs to bring out some more of the finer details. Um, and then, of course, I think also because of the fact that he had that car accident, which has thrown his legs off, he has a disparity in the size of the quads on both sides. So I really want to try to help him to not only make the quads more defined, especially through the middle portion, uh, but also maybe to even them out a little bit. So that's, that's going to be a tough job, but you know that's you know what I want to help him do. But yeah, I think he's at a great starting point right now. Yeah, I was going to say you got four months, uh, yeah. and and the fact that he's already in good shape considering, and he's got some size. I think you know he's, he's just going to transform him quick from yeah. now on. You know he was he's in much better shape than I was when I started with you. Oh, is yeah. what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? Yeah. So his starting point is actually really good. I think he's going to he's yeah, make yeah. some big I'm progress. So. And, and, and he's got a very interesting body because it's kind of like one of those... Um, hybrid. Hybrid, like he, he can fit the classic, he can fit yeah. the bodybuilding. So I think that I'm going to kind of leave it up to the, the judges. Yeah. At the USA, we'll pick one class because we have to. Yeah. The Masters, we could do both. And then I think it's kind of like the judges will kind of put him yeah. where they like him better. And that'll be, you know, that I think that's where he'll go in the future. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy where we're starting. And I just told him, just stick to the plan, stick to the diet, stick to the training and the cardio. <laughs> he told me this week he didn't do cardio, but he was moving this week, so I gave him a break. Uh, and you know, and my goal is 
I, again, I have no power over where they place him. I only have power of trying to make him better than he ever was, and that's yeah, what I'm, I'm hoping I'm, to do. I'm not worried. Dan, give the um, give a, a plug to your gym. So where are you located? And the DM and all this kind of people are going to get you. Yeah, straight. So we're located in the city of um, the South Bay. This is Londo, what's called the heartland of the South Bay, because in, this, is the, this is the midpoint of the Redondo Beach, the beach city areas. The airport, it's kind of like the, the midpoint of all the cool cities, Torrance, mm -hmm. Redondo Beach, Hot Don Hermosa, and then the freeways are really close by here, so it's pretty, the 405 will take you here really quick. Yep. You can also, the freeways are really close by for yep. easy access and easy exits. Um, um, address is 14617 Prairie Avenue. Just shoot me a DM, give me a call, 424-212-9507, or direct email. Uh, DM me at Spartans Gym. And then um, we'll make you, you know, I'll set up an appointment for you and then I can show you a personal visit for myself. I'll give you a personal tour of the facility. And then um, we have really great prices for students as well. We have great student prices, senior citizens, military, everybody gets in. Uh, IVP pros also get a um, great discount over here. Nice. Competitors get uh, great discounts over here as well. And I treat my athletes very well. And then we're here is a great family and hopefully you guys come and join us. I want to thank you on behalf of Stan and Fran and Marley. Uh, I mean, all these guys, they were so grateful to you during uh, their time of need. And of course, now they're all gone. <laughs> they moved all over the place. <laughs> but they were so grateful to you. They told me so, several times, you know, they were, uh, uh, yeah, very, very grateful for you opening your doors. Uh, you're a good guy. And uh, we wish you the best of luck in business and on stage uh, coming uh, December. Uh, thanks for being on the channel. No, thank you guys. Thank you for having me. You guys have a great channel on YouTube. I love you guys. And thank you for giving us the opportunity of small guys for the small facility. And then from here, we're going to continue moving forward and hopefully working with you guys and give you guys more content. Awesome. I really appreciate the opportunity. And from here, from the Londo facility, the South Bay, and the whole community, we thank you guys with great big hearts. And thank you for <laughs> your time. And thank you for the shoot. We really appreciate it, guys. All right, Dan. Thanks, man. Good luck. Great. Thank you. Okay, got a couple of good uh, Ask Merlin questions this week. So uh, the first one was asked by our good friend, Maximilian, <laughs> who loves to ask it's, questions it's every time. <laughs> but, but sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes the questions are very, very personal for him. But this one's a good one okay. for competitors, so I'm going to read it. Um, he said, so when you're, when you're writing a competitor's diet week to week and you, for example, decrease overall carbs, but you increase the proteins, what's the purpose of doing that? Is it just to keep the calories around the same or, you know, why do you do that? It's in a good that question. Way? Yeah. yeah, so it's a good question. So, um, so sometimes when I'm, you know, when I'm working competitors, uh, I try to always make the diets um, as user-friendly as possible. What I mean by user-friendly is not necessarily just how easy the diet is to follow, but I try not to just pull calories for the sake of pulling calories to get people in better condition. Sometimes you can actually just manipulate the macronutrients themselves and get results like that uh, rather than just pulling out calories uh, for the sake of calories. So like what you mentioned, I'll decrease carbohydrates. So let's just say you've been eating you know, 200 grams of carbs on your training days. Uh, and I want to decrease them down to 180 for the following week. Uh, I may I may pull the 20 grams of carbs, and I but I may actually add back in five or 10 grams of protein. So the overall calories are not so much different than the week before, but we're using a higher amount of protein versus carbs, uh, and we're going to just use the body's ability to. Um, you know, utilize body fat as an energy source by reducing the carbs, uh, but not looking to necessarily uh, make your energy deficit so much more. So this is something that, you know, I usually do week to week. Now, it depends also on how the person's coming about. If the person is, you know, behind in their prep, I may not be able to do that. I may have to lower carbohydrates or lower fats uh, to have calories become lower. But if everything's going very, very well, and I like the appearance of their physique and I just need to make small changes, sometimes this is something that I will do. Um, I'll kind of even out the calories, but I'll change the macronutrients. A lot of people don't understand that it's not all about the amount of calories you're eating. It's about the macronutrients themselves and the timing of the macronutrients. So if you time the carbohydrates properly, if you time fats properly in meals that you're not utilizing many carbohydrates, you can create a hormonal cascade in the body that will affect fat loss in a diet without really lowering calories. Now, for instance, I'll just tell you, 
if you just, for instance, uh, lowered your carbohydrates uh, by 50 grams a day uh, and increased protein by about 50 grams a day, lean protein, you probably see a shift in your body fat levels. Your body fat will probably go down. Um, your weight might not go down, but just the loss of water um, from reducing the carbohydrates and the increased body fat activity burning uh, from the reduced carbohydrates would actually have a leaning effect um, even though the calories are the same. So that's just a good example. You can see it for yourself if you try it uh, that you don't always have to lower calories. But again, this is depending on person to person, how far you started out, what kind of shape you are um, going into a prep mode. Obviously, if a person is very, very overweight going into a prep mode, I may have to be, I can't do things like that. But I know that you asked the question because I kind of keep you Max, I keep you in shape year round, which I try to do with everybody. So I'm able to make these kind of manipulations, um, you know, without, you know, pulling calories to the point where the person feels really, really poor as they're going through the diet. I want people to feel, you know, high levels of energy and focus and drive so that they have that for their training and just for their life in general. So that's why I do that. Awesome.